Thank you for becoming a Little Big Shot customer. This video shows you how to attach your new macro lens. Inside the quick case, you'll find a number of items. There's a small business card, and on the front of the card, it directs you here to this video for attachment instructions. On the back of the card are some basic lens care instructions. You'll also find a patch of dual lock. And your lens is inside of a sheet of foam rubber. The foam is there only to protect your lens during shipment. It's no longer needed, so you may throw it away. The quick case is designed to store only one lens. So if you received a spare lens with your order, kindly store that in a separate place. Now let's get underway. The first thing we need to do is to find out where we're going to put the dual lock on the camera. If you ordered a 30 or 42 millimeter lens, then you'll need two pieces of dual lock on the camera, and they can be positioned either top and bottom or left and right. If you order the 50 millimeter lens, that's a heavier lens, and I suggest that you use four pieces of dual lock, top, bottom, left, and right. Now, regarding the dual lock itself, you'll see that the patch has been scored to show you where to cut these pieces with a pair of scissors. So let's get underway. The first thing we do is we take one piece of dual lock, peel the backing off, and then we position it over the camera neat and straight and square. And when we do, we want to make sure that the dual lock does not protrude down into the camera's field of vision. Once you have the dual lock neatly on the camera, press very lightly. Your camera's lens system is a delicate instrument, so don't use excessive pressure. And then, once again, another piece of dual lock. Remove the paper backing. Position it neatly on the camera. Make sure it's not into the camera's field of vision, and again, press very lightly. Then, turn the camera off. Now, press more firmly. Turn the camera back on. Take another piece of dual lock, but this time, leave the paper backing on. Position it over one of the existing pieces of dual lock. Make it nice and square and neat, and when you push it, you'll hear it click into position. Then, remove the paper backing. And one more time, leave the paper backing on. Position it over the dual lock, which is already on the camera. Press until you hear it click into position. And then remove the paper backing. That one's not quite square, so let me just rearrange it a little bit. There we go. Now, before we proceed any further, let's talk about your little big shot lens. Your lens is what we call plano convex, meaning that on one side it has a flat surface and on the other side it has a curved surface. The flat surface will always face your camera and the curved surface will face outward. Also, you'll notice a black alignment mark. This always uh, aims toward the top of your camera. So, with your black alignment mark facing the top of your camera, center the little big shot lens over your camera's lens and when you have it perfectly centered, rest it on the dual lock. And once again, press very gently. Then turn the camera off, and now press more firmly. Turn the camera back on, and we're going to remove the little big shot lens. Whenever you take this little big shot lens off your camera, peel it off to the side. Never pull it straight out because again, your camera's lens system is a very sensitive instrument. So peel the little big shot off the camera, and now you've got two pieces of dual lock which remain on the camera, and two pieces on the little big shot lens. When you store your lens, give the quick case a squeeze, drop the lens in, and the quick case will keep your lens nice and secure. When you want to use little big shot, simply 
Turn the quick case upside down, give it a squeeze. Take that black alignment mark, aim it toward the top of your camera. Line up the dual lock, give it a uh, push on it until you hear it click into place. And you're ready to go. When you're done with it, peel it from the camera. Again, never pull it straight out. Always peel it off your camera. And put it back in the case. And that's it. You've successfully attached Little Big Shot to your camera. One more thing. These pieces of dual lock that you've placed on your camera, leave them there. They won't interfere with the other types of photography you enjoy. And there's no sense to keep removing them and putting them back on unless, of course, they wear out with time. And if that happens, and you need to replace one, remove it from the camera by peeling it very gently and very slowly to the side. Never pull it straight out and never pull it fast. And that's it. This video showed you how to attach Little Big Shot to your camera. To learn how to get the best results and prettiest pictures, please watch the two videos below this one and read through the chapters which follow them. You're also encouraged to join our Facebook group where you can share your macro images, make new friends, and learn new techniques. A link to that group appears at the beginning of step four in this user guide. Thank you and happy macro shooting.